Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston and I really wanted to talk about the Surface Studio today. So while going through my usual dose of YouTube, I came across this video showing off this computer with this incredible hinge to rotate that large touch display. I immediately became curious as to what it was. I went through the video and realized that it was the most beautiful device I had laid eyes on. It was called the Surface Studio. It was a computer with a 28 inch touch panel with a Core i5 i7 processor with 8, 16, 32 gigs of RAM along with a dedicated graphics chip which could be a 965M or a 980M. And then when the hype was over I saw the price which was over $3,000 which in India translates to more than 2 lakh rupees. Now for that price, I could build a really, really sick gaming computer with like crazy, crazy specs and use 4K monitors. But would that really be competing against the Surface Studio? Because who is the Surface Studio for? Definitely not for the average gamer or video editor or programmer because they can build computers that suit their needs for much, much cheaper. This computer is geared towards visual artists who need a huge canvas to draw on and create amazing artwork. This is geared towards the people who on a daily basis use the Cintiq which is a drawing tablet and most of them alone cost more than a thousand dollars. In my opinion that display on the Surface Studio is alone worth more than twenty five hundred dollars which is literally $1,800 for the drawing capabilities and the rest for the basically the 4.5k pixel sense display. Plus, it's coming in a 3 is to 2 form factor, which for those people, those visual artists, is a very good plus. So I think that price point is actually very much, very much suitable for whoever is going to purchase that computer. And the, the specs, well, if you say $2,500 for the display itself, the remaining $500 to $700 or you know even $1,000 are just very much worth it. So if you're comparing the Surface Pro to something like the iMac, you my friend are heavily mistaken because it's not the same thing. The iMac does not have a touch screen and it's not even coming with a pen to draw on. So, I mean, if that, that's what you're comparing with, you are wrong, I'm sorry. It's not the same thing. If you Google uh, or you go to Amazon.com or Amazon.in, check out Cintiq. If you check those prices out, you'll realize for yourself how, how messed up that is. Wacom is the company which makes the Cintiqs. And Wacom is the only company in the world that has an 80% market share on drawing tablets. Or maybe they collaborated. I don't know what they did. Maybe they, they probably collaborated in that and, and, and basically that's what they're trying to replace. They are trying to replace the Cintiqs with the Surface Pro. And for that price, I think it's an actual steal for people who are in need of those tablets or those computers. So I think the Surface Studio is an amazing computer if it delivers to what it promises. And uh, yeah. I just don't want people to compare it to the iMac because that's what all that I've been hearing on the internet. So thanks for watching and uh, if you want more videos like these, please let me know in the comments because I would be very happy to make some more. I've been off YouTube for a while now, so I might come back in this form because I, I really don't have time for much more than this. So thanks for watching guys, see you later.